Hello and welcome to the Code Me Even uh, channel. My name is Gabor Sabu, and in this video we are going to see um, some work uh, being done on Meta CPEN. Uh, Meta CPEN is the front end of all the CPEN modules, all the packages uh, written for Perl. Uh, it displays uh, a lot of information, uh, documentation, and lots of other things. So if you let me show you this one. Um, this is a distribution called test class that I've recently taken over. Okay, uh, you might know that I like the the, the subject of, of testing, and I've even uh, recorded a course about it. And the test class is an important uh, module for testing and a very interesting one. But it hasn't been seen an, a, a release for I think at least three years. And when I visited its page, it says, take me over. The maintainer of this distribution is looking for someone to take over. If you're interested, then please contact them via email. And this email actually links to some 15 uh, email, 10 or 15 e email addresses. Uh, so I sent an email um, to some of those people, not all of them actually, uh, I had some selections. And uh, within, I think, a couple of hours, I got actually maintainership. Uh, the right to upload the new version, so I uh, uploaded this new version. And then comes the thing that this banner is still here, and now I would like to remove it. And I don't know, so if, okay, there's this checkbox, of course, uh, there's this uh, X, but and then it will remove it from me. But when I, so for any, everybody else, it will stay there, and even if I reload the, the page, it will get back to me. So. And the question was, uh, the, my question is, how, to, how do I get rid of it? What does it even mean? So, uh, when I've, I, as a more experienced person uh, with Meta CPAN and all the working of CPAN, I understand what this really means here, but I wasn't really sure where, is it com where does it come from. Uh, I know that if someone who is new to Perl or new, new to CPAN, uh, it will be totally unclear to them what is this and uh, just this email doesn't help much. Um, <coughs> if someone uh, is already experienced in Perl um, and would like to take it over, still it doesn't, I mean, in, in my opinion, just having this text and just this uh, link to emails, it's probably not enough. Probably they would need uh, some explanation of what is this process is doing. So my suggestion would be to have this explanation in the FAQ or my expectation would be that it's going to be in the FAQ and I'm going to check it now and I will, can already tell you that it's not, I couldn't find it, okay, at least. And I would I hope that there is a link from here to the FAQ so uh, I'll be able to, to read about uh, all these uh, things. So the first thing is to go uh, uh, and check the FAQ. Actually, I what I did is I asked uh, on um, uh, one of the Perl groups in in um, in the Perl community group in the um, in um, Facebook and also in the Perl programmers group in Facebook and uh, I got some uh, pointers. One of them was uh, pointing uh, to this uh, page where uh, there is a list of the authors, uh, the list of the owners of this uh, module, and specifically that the user handoff, which is a meta user, that user uh, has a uh, ownership of the, this module and a couple of other people um, and because that user has the owner uh, ownership it's a meta user that's the reason that we see this uh, banner so that was one uh, link but i i really honestly i wouldn't be able to find it myself uh, i don't even know how to get uh, how to link to this how to get where to get the link uh, to this page which is uh, some somehow belonging to the text class i guess there is some somewhere here uh, a link there uh, but I don't know where. Uh, the other one is um, was this, uh, which is a discussion about these three uh, owners, basically these uh, three meta users in in, po in the pose system that's uh, handling all the uploads to CPAN. Uh, one of them is the handoff, but there is the adopt me and I need help, and I don't know what the difference is. And uh, there is this uh, discussion, but I would like to have a FAQ, an FAQ entry. So the thing, the first thing I do is go to the FAQ of Meta CPAN and uh, search for it. And I was searching for adopt me or adopt or or what was the other thing? Uh, take over, yeah, take me over. So to say take me over or maintenance, maintenance. None of them is here. So I assume that it's not just me that can't find, well, I can't find it, okay? So what I did is first of all, I, I wanted to see where uh, is the, 
where is this coming from? So where is this text coming from? Uh, and for that, I it could be from some database, it can be from the source code of the application. Uh, and because I already got this link, I know that, uh, not this link, this link, uh, I know that the, the meta cpan is being developed in this uh, distribution, in this uh, GitHub repository. Actually, there are a couple of other repositories. If you go to this meta cpan, there's a meta cpan web and the API, so there's the backend and a couple of other things. But uh, the meta cpan web is, is probably the, the right place. So I went, uh, opened the page in, in there and um, um, looked for the text, so take me over, right? This is the text that I'm, I'm looking for. And uh, I can search here, and uh, I search in this repository, and indeed it finds it in, oops, oops, okay, incorrectly, I clicked on something. Wrong, 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 wrong searches. Okay, let me go back. Okay, so, um, I clicked on something. Anyway, um, this is the play, this is the, the file that's it's, it's uh, included. So I can go to the um, uh, explanation. Here is the here is where the banner is. Okay, but th that what that's like one place. So once we are going to have in the FAQ some text that will have to be able to link from from here. Uh, but I think I'm, I'm running ahead ahead of me. Uh, I would like first to open an issue, find an issue, look if there is an issue in this repository and if uh, about this, uh, about this subject, and if not, then open one. So before everything, let's, let me just go to the this page in the repository, which is the, like the main, main web page, I go to the issues and here search for adopt me, for example. And I see there are three uh, items closed, one of them, that, the one that we saw, and two others that uh, were unrelated, or not, not unrelated, older, and, and they're already closed, and so not that deep. So what I did is I opened a new issue, clicked here and opened a new issue, and I already written it because uh, the previous time I started to record a video, it took me way too long to write all this text. So here in basically what I'm saying is that I would like, I'm looking for an explanation, in the FAQ about the takeover, uh, what it means, and so on. Uh, and I explained that the, at least three use cases that I can see. So a person who doesn't know much about CPAN and Perl, uh, trying to figuring out what that banner means, a person who is experienced in Perl and is might be interested in taking over, but would like to have a little bit more information about the process, and the third person who has already taken over, but now wants to get rid of the banner. Uh, still probably needs some information and uh, so it would be nice to explain what is the difference between all the three actually in the FAQ. So this is the, the, the issue and I'm going to open the issue. Uh, so now we, got, we have an issue, uh, um, a ticket uh, with this. Uh, so if now we are looking for this, then uh, that's, that's it. So that's the first thing. Then now the th next thing would be to actually make the changes. Okay, now at this point I could wait for some other people to do the change, to, to make these changes or comment on my um, issue, but I think I can go ahead and at, and at least try to add uh, some entry uh, to the FAQ, a placeholder explaining uh, what to do, or at least uh, have some of the explanation that I already know. Okay, uh, so for that, I would need to find where uh, I already found, right? I already found where the banner comes from. Let's, let's see where the FAQ comes from. So uh, let's just copy one of the uh, entries from the FAQ and uh, go again to the Meta CPAN web page, to the, not the web page, to the root of the, the project in GitHub and search for it. Uh, enter it, it this searches in this repository so there is this page called root about faq.html and here you can see that there's the question and here is here here is the faq so now i can do i can just add here the text i can do two things i can either at least two things i can either clo uh, fork the whole repository to have it in my own uh, github a account and then clone it to my local disk and then do all the 
longer dance, which would be a lot more important if this was some code change uh, where uh, it's really uh, I need to test it locally and so on. But because this is just some textual change, I probably can get away by just clicking here on the edit button. Uh, it will already create, it will also create a fork actually in my repository, but I can do all the editing here in the UI. Okay, so uh, it let me just understand. Uh, this is how it looks like. So each entry is uh, two hash marks, so it's markdown basically, right? Two hash marks, uh, the question, and then, or yeah, the question of the FAQ, and then some explanation here. So I, I think I'll just start uh, adding uh, some explanation here. At the end, I can I can add it here at this at this at the end. Okay. So this is a uh, well. Actually, maybe 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 now I'm thinking about it might be better to do this whole fork again, uh, the fork thing with the clone thing. So I can update uh, it. it it's going to be easier for me to update these changes when people will uh, tell me that I that it would be better to phrase it in another way or so or or I would need some more explanation. So I would just give the do the skeleton now and then um, I'll be updating it uh, even further. So the first thing I need to do is click on fork and uh, fork it to your own uh, user probably. I am part of all kind of. Uh, um, organizations. So this is how the fork is done. Uh, then, uh, of course, you have to be a user in GitHub for this. Then I clone it. So I get the link from here and go to my terminal and git clone and clone the whole repository. Okay, it, it will take a couple of seconds uh, to do so. And uh, then, where is it? So I'll have to go back and remember where is this file. So it's in the um, root about faq.html. Okay, it's here it is. So it's metacp and web. It's root about faq.html. So here is the file that we were trying to edit. And uh, so let's create a branch. Git uh, checkout minus uh, b, b. Let's call it FAQ and uh, in the FAQ let me add the entry okay so here uh, and what should be the entry I think maybe um, how to adopt a distribution Okay, that might be uh, the question, and the, then the explanation could go into all of the, uh, the things. Uh, one of them is a uh, is just going to say how to remove the adopt me banner from the from the module. Uh, Remove the co the author uh, and then we have to list all the names. Where are the all the names? Well, oh, here they are. Is or need help? from the project okay so this is just going to be a placeholder i don't uh, I don't even um yeah it's, it's it's probably how to adopt the uh it, it's going to be under uh, uh, underneath all the all the um, all this entry so i can have this as a start git add uh, let's just git status Okay, git add, git commit minus m, add initial entry. Okay, and then I can git push minus u origin, and uh, it was FAQ, the name of the, uh, the branch. 
and th this way I'm going to send out uh, the change to my git repository and here in the git repository where is my git repository not this one actually I can go now uh, just to remove the whole thing and if I visit the repository, it's, here is the, the pull request. So at this point, I can send the pull request. I can also um, mark uh, the, this question. So I should actually add this uh, to my commit um, as well. So it will be connected. Um, and uh, that way, I can start adding the FAQ entry uh, to this uh, to MetaCPAN. And once it's being accepted and deployed, then you will see the FAQ. And the next step is going to be, uh, and probably I'm going to do a separate video about this, is to change this file uh, and uh, include that, uh, include a link. So here in, the, in this file, let me just uh, see. So the way it, it, I, I noticed it works, that it, depending on the which one of the three texts, it has different titles. So it's not even correct that should take me over it uh, it's different title for whatever reason i don't know um probably they need different explanations there and then at the end there is this email uh, address so it's, uh, if you're interested then please contact and here are the email addresses so i would probably put here uh, an, another line and saying uh, just a link to the faq entry Okay, that's basically once the FAQ entry is there. Okay, so basically that's uh, that's that's the plan. Uh, of course, uh, if you're watching this video and you can uh, explain better what uh, these three things are about and how to do these things, uh, then go ahead because I don't really know how to do those. I just wanted to show you um, how uh, can uh, how can we improve MetaCPAN so we'll have a place for this explanation. So thank you for watching and if you like this video then of course please like it in YouTube as well and uh, follow the channel so you'll get more of these uh, videos from me. Bye bye for now.